Another week, another game ball to hand out, and there are players across the state that must be wondering, what do you have to do to get one of these? We had Kane Walner from Canton who went over 300 yards rushing. We had a player on defense who had four interceptions, and they don't get to take one of these home. I feel bad for them, but it's because of Jack Smith and what he did against the Brandon Valley Lynx. He put up absolute video game numbers and takes home this week's Farmers Union game ball. We've got his performance coming up later, but let's look at all of the great performances across the state from last week in South Dakota high school football. The connection between Britt Carlson and Tom Allenbaugh was electric as DeSmith picked up a huge win against a ranked team last Friday. Carlson had another big week. He went 11 of 20 for 240 yards and four touchdowns through the air, and he ran for nearly 100 yards and scored two more on the ground. Onbach ended up with six receptions for 114 yards and three touchdowns as the Bulldogs got a big win. Brayton Comstock played a big role in beating the Bobcats last Friday. He snagged one, two, three, four interceptions on defense as he led the Golden Eagles defense in a shutout and guided them to their fourth win of the season. Potter County versus Harriet Selby area had several standouts in that game. Ryder Falkenhagen turned in three touchdowns with 215 yards from scrimmage. Plus, he had a kick return touchdown and a pick on defense, but it wasn't enough to beat the Wolverines, who got a big day thanks to Trevor Gill, who hauled in five catches for 124 yards and two touchdowns. Hayden Gross dominated on both sides of the ball. The OG QB threw for 292 yards and three scores. And on defense, he picked off two passes and he took one back to the house in their dominant win over Washington. T area's Brenner Conrad had his best day as a varsity quarterback. Conrad was a perfect five for five passing and also recorded a 100 yard plus rushing day with four touchdowns. The Titans took apart the Spartans for a big win under the super sophomore's big performance. Mason Stubbe continues to put up stupid numbers for Del Rapids. Stubbe once again averaged more than 10 yards per carry on his way to a four touchdown day as the Warriors got another win against Chamberlain on Friday. Canton's Kane Walner is the real deal. He sliced, diced, bowled and rolled over and through the Vermilion defense last week. He ended up recording 301 rushing yards on the day and scored three touchdowns. He was also a wrecking crew on defense. Eight tackles, two sacks for the junior. Walner continues to draw some big time interest from some big time colleges. All of those performances, outstanding. So you know whoever earned this week's game ball had to be elite. Well, he was definitely elite. Jack Smith continues to rewrite the record book in 11 AAA. He tied a state record with five receiving touchdowns in a single game. He caught four of those in the first half. He ended the day with nine receptions for 161 yards and five receiving touchdowns. I'd be remiss not to mention his quarterback, Tate Schaefer, who went 21 of 31 for 290 yards through the air and six touchdown passes. But the game ball goes to Jack Smith, who had that monster day. He also added a kick return for a touchdown, and he ran the ball three times for 36 more yards as the number one Lincoln Patriots stay unbeaten. Keep on balling, Jack.